in the today's tutorial what we are going to cover we are going to cover a uh, bit magic so in the today's topic we are going to cover a uh, few topics like power of two once in binary representation of a number and find single occurring element in an array so all this can be done using bit magic so let's get started with the tutorial so uh, so what we can do so uh, we'll start with bit, bit magic and here uh, first the first program we are going to make is is power of 2 is power of 2 so basically what it takes it takes in n uh, n, uh, n as an integer n as an input and in the output uh, it returns as a value whether true or false true or false as an output if it tells if it is if if it is a uh, a power of 2 so well it is going to check check if n is a power of 2 so for example uh, uh, 512 so it will return true since it is a power of 2 because 512 is equal to 2 to the power 9 okay so in the same way uh, for like uh, 1024 it will return true because 1024 is equal to 2 to the power 10 so this double star indicates that it is a power symbol since so, uh, so we'll uh, try to make this program to define is power of 2 is power of 2 and it takes an integer and as an input so we are going to define two values x is equal to n y is equal to n bitwise and with n minus 1 and then we are going to take the not of this whole value and then return x and y since this operation is an constant mathematical operation we are doing a bitwise and so it takes a time complexity of big O of 1 so on average case it takes a big O of 1 since uh, we are doing a constant operation because we are not using any recursive uh, a for loop while loop recursive we are not making a recursive relation of for loop while loop so it is a very constant operation so basically so all the mathematical operators bitwise operators and uh, constant additions of fractions if conditions take O of 1 time so this is an O of 1 time uh, then uh, what we are going to do we are going to take some test cases t is equal to int input now then integer t is equal to int input we are going to take, take a while loop for the test cases while t t is equal to t minus 1 and take an integer n is equal to int input n is equal to int input then print we are going to print s power of 2 s power of 2 n so i hope this program is complete so we are going to uh, run the test cases now yeah i have split window here so i'll take some test cases i'll take 10 test cases here 10 test cases uh, let me check with the base case uh, 2 to the power 0 is 2 to the power 0 is 1 so this is base case so yes it satisfies 2 to the power 1 is 2 so yes it is a power 2 then 2 to the power 2 4 yes it is a power of 2 let me check our cases 512 yes it is a power of 2 then 1024 yes it is a power of 2 then let me take 55 no 20 no 22 no 65 650 uh, 65 no 9 no so these were the cases where we saw yeah, the above numbers were the power of 2 uh, that is 1 2 4 512 1024 okay so these are the base cases uh, uh, here you can also add a condition like if n is greater uh, 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 sorry here you can add a condition for a very corner case if n less than equal to 0 then you can return false because our corner case was like the basic corner case that is 2 to the power 0 is the 2 to the power 0 is 1 that was our corner case so here you can uh, uh, put a condition here 
or corner case this is a corner case you can put and we can we can write three test cases zero false minus one false and minus two also false so here you can see these were the base cases uh, sorry these are very corner cases you can see that it is a power of true or not so now uh, what we are going to cover next uh, the next we are going to cover define count bits in an integer so what is it going to define so let me make an so this function returns returns number of months in binary representation representation of an integer of an n uh, sorry uh, so of, of int int so binary number of ones in a binary representation of int so what we can take like 5 the binary representation is 101 so the output would be answer is equal to 2 then for 7 the binary representation is 111 then answer is equal to 3 the for, for 5 we, we can see the binary representation is 101 so answer is equal to 2 because there are 2 1 bits this one this one here and this one here so for 7 we have a 111 as a binary representation so we have answer is equal to 3 so for this so count is equal to 0 so while n so count so uh, let me create one, another program look you can have a one approach like this define uh, you can uh, this is a very uh, brute force approach so let me tell, show you uh, let me show you uh, let me show you here here uh, uh, okay so we'll have an, a string s is equal to str bin of n and we are going to slice it by two indices because I'll show you on the left of the screen you can see n is equal to 5 for n is equal to 5 I'll define s is equal to bin n so here you can see now the binary representation here comes as 0 b 101 so if I want to remove the first two uh, first two characters that is 0 b so I'll do s of 2 then I'll get 101 okay then I would simply return s dot count 1 so this is a brute force approach plus I'll print also print print uh, I'll print the number also this is the number I'm going to print okay so this is this is very fine that th I'll print this s and here you can see so this this is a time complexity of big o of n because this count function would be uh, have the upper bound like uh, you this might uh, so this o of count function takes o of n times because for uh, because in 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 implementation you would for uh, every count you have to iterate over the string so this would take the o of n time complexity but we are going to do this in t time complexity of log big o of log n so we are going to do so this is very simple we we have a count is equal to zero so basically what we are going to do in in the end we are going to return count so in the end we are going to return the count but before that we will go into calculate count so what we are going to do this how we are going to do this then while n count plus equal to 1 and we will change the value of n bitwise and of n minus 1 and we will return the count so I'll comment this out and uh, I'll brute force of n so uh, brute force count bits brute force count bits so this is the function we are going to call and the next the before and another one after that we are going to do, call count bits count bits of n okay so yes we are done with the program so so let me run yes 10 test cases so here you can see okay let me i have some issue with the program n is equal to n bitwise and minus one 
okay there's something okay okay i didn't put a print statement here because i was returning the value so i had to put the print statement here i was returning the value so i had to put a print statement here because the return count and here i had to put dot format so, yeah now it's fine okay i'll okay i'll run the program again so like i'll have 10 test cases first is 5 so here you can see the binary representation is 101 and i have two count uh, two one bits and for 7 three uh one 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 so three 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 and like ten so one zero one zero is the binary representation so we have two one bits with this one and this one so this uh so like uh uh so what you can what i'm trying to say uh, tell you that uh, since the both of the functions give the correct answer but since uh, this is a brute force approach because this would take a count of uh uh, this this count function would take a big of one for very large numbers and on the uh, same side this would take o of log n so let me try some few numbers 6 one, one, zero is the binary representation we have two bit sets and like uh, for a big number 545 so here you can see we have this binary representation and we have three count bits one 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 okay so uh, like in this way you can solve for, for this uh, this type of approach you, this can be used to solve and so thank you guys thank you so much i'll catch up in the next video